Oh, get up! Bro, why do I keep falling, bro? And that killed me, bro. I ain't no swing and take my stamina. Like, bro, that's so... That's so annoying, bro. What's good, yo? We back again with another episode or part of Redneck 2. Now, this time, I'm going to join a public match. <laughs> I'm going to join the game because... That first part, y'all know it's hard, super hard. So let's see if we can join the game. See if we can complete these missions. Hope everything is good with everybody. <laughs> All right. Um. Johnson Chamber. Just where I left off last time. This music is fire. It's like some Harry Potter sort of stuff. Hmm. What a curious petitioner you are. Not of the Fae, nor of the denizens of this new world. Send it away then. Fey law is not for foreigners. On the contrary, Oneril. Though its rules differ for Fey and non, Fey law applies to all within the One True King's domain. Come, Petitioner. Step up to the podium. I am here. Hail, stranger. I am Savon, speaker of the One True King's Council. State your nature and business for the record, please. Your nature, yes. What are you exactly? You're not one of the, well, what do they call themselves? The Dran, are you? I am a medic from Earthrealm. <laughs> None of your business what I am. Um, not of this world, actually. Then why, pray tell, should we waste our time with you? This is a Fey Council, and we have more imperative matters than to play guide to outsiders. Your friend is here. Now. Oh, how distressing. Perhaps we can help you find them. Perhaps not. Or have you forgotten the rather large problem yet undealt with, starting with what lies beyond this very door? I had not forgotten, Oneril. But as we are at a standstill, I thought to turn our attention to something more refreshing for the time being. Sadly, our resources must be devoted to the troubles at hand, Nael. Petitioner, we will not help you at this time. Good day. You have wasted quite enough of our time, foreigner. The Fey have far more important concerns than you before us. M uh, hold a moment, Onoril. Perhaps this stranger could be of use to us. The Fae presently live in fear and uncertainty, stranger. The one true king has been usurped by an imposter, aided by one of those seated before you. But we know not which. As an independent party, you might find clarity where we have failed. Will you help us? That is wise. You are under no commitment unless and until you choose to make an accusation. That said, should you come across sufficient evidence, you are permitted, within certain conditions, to accuse one of those seated here, and this body will consider the accusation. A great tragedy, stranger. 
For eons, the Fae and this council have faithfully served the one true king. But alas, his rule has been curtailed. The imposter, Faelin or Faerin or whatever they call themselves now, placed the king in an eternal slumber from which he cannot be woken. The king was attacked in his own chambers behind this very door. The imposter could not have entered without aid from a member of this council. But, of course, we all have our alibis, as you can imagine. None of us were here. This has been proven many times. If you can find any evidence tying one of us to this tragedy or to the imposter, then Fey justice might be done. It won't be enough, Savan. The imposter still sits upon the throne. Yet, it will be a step, and a necessary one, toward restoring order among the Fey. We do not. This farce does nothing. Peace, Oneril. The law is clear on this point, as you well know. I will answer your question, stranger. With a traitor among us, trust has shattered. If any of us were to produce evidence at this stage, it would be suspect by all. And rightly so. Either of you would love any excuse to remove me from the Council. And you do not wish to hold half the Council's power yourself, Onoriel. <laughs> you cannot pretend it isn't true. Regardless, stranger, you are not from this world, either of these worlds. So, any evidence you bring would be free from the suspicions which we have cast upon ourselves. We now know that the imposter approached each one of us at some point, whispering promises of freedom and power trying to poison our minds against the one true king. Oof. He only said what we wanted to hear. Pity one of us listened. Can you blame them, though? The imposter called out important truths. Is that an admission of guilt, Nael? If you would allow me to finish, I was saying he called out important truths that we must take to heart, despite the poison that obviously accompanied them. We would do well to address the flaws raised by the imposter. And I find it difficult to cast blame on any who thought there might be a smoother path towards doing so. And yet that path has led to ruin. We have merely exchanged one tyrant for another. Indeed. But our feelings on the outcome are irrelevant. This council must be absolved of guilt if we are ever to restore order to the Fey. So many questions, bro. They are a monster. They care nothing for the welfare of the Fey. Nor those of us who serve the Fey. Nor for the law. On this, we all agree. The imposter's plan should never have been carried out. And what then? Continue to work with these traitors? No. We must know who betrayed us. Precisely my point. This foreigner may have any number of reasons for accusing any one of us. Which is why, if and when evidence is produced, we alone will pronounce the final judgment. And if that evidence has been falsified? Tainted? How do I know one of you has not paid this interloper to act on your behalf? Unreal, only you assume that everyone is as unscrupulous as yourself. Not everyone seeks power at any cost. Yeah. Very well. I will judge it when I see it. I trust no one. But I trust the two of you less than this foreigner. It means you're not Fey, and your life is easily forfeited. Please, Oneril. Stranger, we will discuss the conditions of your accusation if and when you choose to make one. Alas, we do not know. There is no blood, no wound that we can see. 
Not that we were able to investigate the scene fully. At your request, Onoriel. I cannot trust either of you backstabbers nor anyone you might call to serve us. Were those not your words? Ugh. They were, indeed. And the sentiment holds. Regardless, it is unknown even what could harm the king. For it is said that no mortal weapon can kill him. And many have tried. The king has ruled over the Fey as long as anyone can recall. He has always been a guiding force, both in our world and our lives. Some believed he was too much of a guiding force. Mm, more than some. Yet, look at us now. The king sleeps, and our world is spun into chaos. Indeed. It would seem his life is more entwined with our world than anyone knew. Imagine what would have happened if he had been killed. Of course! How could we have been so blind? The genius of this foreigner, who is so much more clever than all of the Fae together. Please, Onoril. Their question is academic curiosity. The simple answer, stranger, is magic of a kind more powerful than any here have yet seen. We suspect the imposter's conspiracy went even deeper than this council alone. Which is why we must identify which of you is the conspirator here. Fare thee well, stranger. And do tell us if you find anything interesting. Gotcha. There's a lot of questions, but let's get to work. No, I gotta go. What is that? Seems like something is missing. All right, you got that one. Are we missing that one? To the death. Hey, let me check the map again. here go up the steps can I hit this door no I gotta fight again oh my gosh They come. Come. 
Bro's like, well, what? Joining game. I forgot about this door, bro. <laughs> I thought my game had frills. No, that was somebody joining. Let's keep moving. I don't like the looks of this place. Follow him. I'm pretty sure he did this. He probably did this mission already. I don't know. He left the game. Show him what you're made of. Supposed to be coming, right? Gonna put a bullet in you. Gonna put a bullet in you. Bro, what? Gosh, 
gotta shoot the bombs. Sound like somebody getting like crazy. I didn't even see him back, bro. They, bro. They aim is immaculate. You gotta go. Like, right. right, that's enough, bro. It's over. I'm getting. She not dead? You just randomly joined my game, bro. Eyes up. Might not be over. New checkpoint. Haven. Can't. None of us. I can't talk. Subscribe. Let's go over here.
Still bleeding, bro. <sighs> Glad that's over. Checkpoint updated. Are this a new place? I'm all the way over here. Oracle's Refuge. the looks of this. These damn things is annoying, bro. Get up! Bro, why do I keep falling, bro? And that killed me, bro. I ain't no swing and take my stand up. Like, bro, that's so. That's so annoying, bro. Oh my god. 
guys, bro. Stamina issue is annoying, bro. It's so delayed. It's so annoying, bro. This game, like, why does the stamina sucks like this, bro? Plain ribbon. That's not the big dude. I thought it was. What happened to the big dude? Thank you. 
Okay, be careful. I'm sure that's not the last of them. Guests will arrive. Yes. You there. The feast is ready. Come, eat all our We have taken great pains. We feast. Feast to his glory. Watch my back.
bro, what is going on, bro? You gotta keep eating this survive. My gosh, bro. Thank you. What's to do, bro? Oh, don't stop now! Yeah. 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 
Yeah! 